Hey guys, Rubber Trump Renegade here. Um, I want to show you my power system. Uh, the last video I made, um, I kind of threw that uh, power system together. I know the video wasn't that great, but I was kind of in a rush to get it done. But um, if you're interested in making one of those power banks yourself, go to my website www.rubbertrampRenegade.com. Everything you need to make one is in my uh, gear that I use link. So if you go to my website, which is a brand new website, um, if you've been to my old one and haven't been to my new one, uh, go check that out because I've, I've broken it down a little better. Um, Try to provide every item that I use in any of my videos. But um, yeah, check that out uh, and you can build your own. But I'm going to kind of go over that. I've got it hooked up to the trailer here and I have um, I've got my battery bank and I've got it hooked into uh, my little 30 amp, uh, 30 watt solar panel and just kind of test it out. Um, another thing I want to mention is thank you to everybody who bought my Rubber Tramp Renegade stickers. Um, this was all going to go to a Jackery, uh, but thanks to one of my subscribers, I decided to build my own. Um, I never really thought about building my own, but it's really no different than the um, battery system that I built for the van. When I had the van, it's just uh, scaled down on a smaller scale. So uh, real quick, I'm going to go over this battery system and show you how it works. Alright, so here it is. Here's my 50 cal ammo can uh, battery uh, bank and it's basically a 33 amp hour battery. It has um, 12 volt lights here on the front. It's got a gauge here on the bottom, which right now that gauge, you probably can't read it, but it's showing 13.3, um, which it's actually charging right now off of my solar panels, which are laying back here in the background. Um, but I've got my solar going in right here. I've got a port on this side that is another 12 volt. I can use it out or in if I'm charging it. I can hook to the truck or I can hook to my trickle charger. Uh, on the out side, I've got this going into uh, my fuse panel here. And if you can remember, I've got a fuse panel here. I've got three fuses now. I used to have two. Uh, one was to the fan. I've got two interior lights inside the camper. And then yesterday I did add some more LEDs up here, which are basically the same LEDs. I had some left over. So I put them on a switch right here, and you may or may not be able to see that, but um, that, that lights up the back here. Um, so, so basically, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to unplug this solar panel, and here's the cord coming from the solar panel. There's various different ends you can put on here. Uh, this just plugs in. Uh, I'll go over that in a second, but that's a, it's a pretty neat little solar system. Uh, and the light shows you know when it's charging so um, it is drawing power right now um, but let me go over let me go over this real quick so I don't know if you can see the gauge here um, but right now it's showing 13.1 um, and that is just what is in the battery right now it usually shows about 12.9 when it's fully charged so uh, I just had that solar panel on it so it's probably a little higher than normal um, but I'm going to put the solar panel in real quick and show you that gauge uh, bump up and see if you can see it on your screen there. Alright, so I've got the solar panel plugged in, but it's not going to charge the battery until I turn the switch on. Um, so once I get that turned on, it may start to bump up slowly, um, but that's in full sun and it's a 30 watt solar panel and it, it kind of trickle charges the battery so um, yeah there it goes 13.2 so that's uh, holding you know it's, it's charging that pretty nicely and I can you know if I had this hooked up to my fridge all day it would it would pretty much run my fridge as long as I had enough solar coming in to maintain that fridge um, what the fridge is drawing um, but it'll it'll run my fan just fine it'll run these lights in here just fine um, but I'm, I'm pretty excited on how it turned out. Um, let's go over the solar panel real quick. Alright, so here is the TP Solar uh, 30 watt uh, solar panel. Now it came in a box. When you open up the cardboard box, uh, you had uh, three things in there. You had the TP Solar bag. Um, it's got two zip pouches here. And one side I've got the solar panel. And then the other side I've got all the cords that come with it. So the first thing is the bag. The second thing is the solar panel itself. And it, it folds up nicely. Um, and then the next thing is 
a bag of different wiring devices. So um, I've already taken this out um, and plugged it in how I need it. I am actually using the cigarette lighter plug that comes with it, um, but the cord itself has two ends and they're pretty much the same on each end. One side goes to the solar panel and one side can be plugged into various uh, attachments here. Um, it has, I'll show you real quick, it's got a USB uh, adapter if you wanted to plug that into USB uh, and use it that way. It's got some gator clips here and you just basically plug that into that cord and then you can charge a battery with those gator clips and and then it's got I mean it's got multiple multiple things here I'll set those gator clips down um, it's got these uh, connectors for like a solar panel I forget what they call these but uh, you can plug those into pretty much um, you know any solar system a lot of times they have this um, this little connection on it so if you had a you know your battery had these uh, little cables at the end you can use those I think they're called Anderson plugs um, then the next thing it comes with are all of these little attachments if you can see those uh, you could use them for laptops or any other device that uses um, you know various ends but I don't need all this um, of course I'm going to keep it in the bag and I'll keep it with the solar panel um, just in case one day I do need it um, but basically all that I need is that cigarette lighter plug so I'm going to put this back in the case um, carry it with me just in case I do need it um, and then I'm just going to use uh, this cord here and when you get the you get the panel out it also comes with these two little carabiner clips that I've already got on here but when you open this up you've got this little um, thing here and it's got two USB ports and then it's got where you hook your cord so I've actually charged my phone with this and basically just put my USB charger in here right to my phone and it charges fine um, but it basically unfolds and it's pretty portable I mean it's you can lay this in the sun the clips allow you to hang it on something um, and just you know use it that way but I basically just laid it on the ground and it's worked great so uh, so far I'm satisfied with it I know 30 watts isn't a whole lot but they do sell a 60 watt and uh, I think another a larger uh, wattage panel so um, I'm curious to see how this works out in the long run but for now uh, from what I've tested it, it, it looks like it's going to be a, a nice little addition to the camper. Alright, so that's the solar panel, and you can see it folds up nicely in this bag. And just uh, to gauge size, it fits right inside this milk crate uh, perfectly front to back. So that's probably where I'll store it uh, when I'm not using it. Um, let's go check out the inside of the camper. Alright guys, so I've had some technical difficulties today and I lost the footage when I was out uh, filming the inside of the camper, but here I am inside the camper and I wanted to show you the batteries hooked up and I have lights here. Um, if you remember, I got these lights out of an old van. Um, if you look back at one of my old blogs, we were uh, scrounging for parts one day and I ran across all kinds of parts in a, a junkyard. I uh, was able to save these lights out of a van. Um, and then when I built the camper, you can see in my blog of the camper build, I uh, basically just uh, sanded these down gently and painted them black. They were like a dark brown wood grain color, but I wanted to match the camper. So uh, those are the little lights I went with. They do swivel. Um, I've just got them pointed down right now. Uh, I do have my roof fan open, and it works. Uh, This is a fantastic fan. This is a three-speed fan. Um, it does go both ways. It's reversible, so I can pull air out of the camper or uh, push it in, just depending on my preference. But that's pretty much my 12-volt uh, setup for the van. Uh, that ammo can and um, how it works, uh, everything here. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I've got one more thing to kind of show you right before we uh, end this video. So just real quick, let me show you something.
All right, so the product I kind of want to give you a sneak peek on is my new 12 volt fridge. I literally just got this out of the box and I'm going to be taking a look at it and uh, seeing how it holds up uh, camping and uh, through the, you know, the test of time. My uh, old Dometic fridge that I have had for four years now, it's still going strong. Um, but every once in a while it has a little bit of issue with the compressor not wanting to come on so I found this online on Amazon. I reached out to the company and uh, Asked if they would give me a discount on it and um, If I made a video and they said yeah, sure no problem. So uh, I went ahead and purchased this uh, with my discount and I'm gonna be taking a look at it and giving you guys an honest review and uh, What I think about it and how it works out. So Probably my next video I make will be the refrigerator review and we'll we'll check this refrigerator out and see how it does. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. Uh, remember to check out my website www.rubbertramprenegade.com uh, for information on my 12 volt system and other projects that I've done. Um, and be sure to uh, like my uh, channel here and subscribe and if you're interested in stickers uh, you can find those at my website uh, and all the money from the stickers goes right back into the camp camper and uh, my adventures and making this channel happen so I appreciate all the support and I hope to see you next time thanks for watching have a good one